Hello, welcome back to my recorded classes. Uh, today we are discussing the chapter, chapter five, uh, first section five point one, matrices, basic operations and special types of matrices. Okay, this is the topic from the course Mathematics for IT. So let's start the topic, section number five point one, uh, from chapter five. matrices and determinant 5.1 matrices basic operations and special types of matrices so this chapter okay we need to study some basic ideas of matrices and determinant okay so the first section we are discussing what is the meaning of matrix and what are the basic operations okay first we need to discuss what are the uh, basic operations in the matrix and special types of matrices okay what are the special types of matrices okay so let's start with the idea of matrix okay so uh, this section mainly we have uh, we are discussing the basic idea some definitions and related questions so we will just to go through the ideas first then we will start the questions one by one okay so first uh, let us start with a small example what is the meaning of matrix okay you can see mark obtained by three students a b and c in four class test out of 10 mark okay so we are representing by using matrix see you can see for example student a first student test 1 mark you can see that is 3 first student test 2 mark 8 Test three mark seven, like test four mark is nine. So first student we are represented in the first row. Same like second student B, we are represented in the second row, and third students in the third row. So in this representation, you see these numbers we are represented in a rectangular way, correct? Rectangular pattern. See this is a rectangular pattern. So the numbers we are written in the rectangular pattern, correct? so this representation we are calling matrix you can see in this matrix uh, this is the first two row row number 1 first two row correct first two row and same way second row here we can see second row and we can have third row here and same way how many columns are there you can see this is the first two column test 1 we are in the first two column test 1 mark test 2 mark is in the second column test 3 mark in the third column and test 4 mark in the fourth column correct so we have three rows and four columns are there okay so column number 1 up to column number 4 row number 1 up to row number 4 sorry row number 3 now see number of rows as i told you number of rows is 3 here and number of columns are equal to 4 here correct now from this rows and column we can write the order or size of a matrix order or sometime we are calling size of a matrix means row number by column number row by c okay r by c that means here it is 3 by 4 matrix 3 by 4 matrix number of columns sorry number of rows is 3 and number of columns equal to 4 so it is a 3 by 4 matrix so order means order or size of a matrix means we are representing like this we are reading it as it is a 3 by 4 matrix okay 3 by 4 matrix see i am written here in the matrix uh, bottom side that one 3 by 4 matrix now what is the meaning actually 3 by 4 if you are multiplying this 3 and 4 3 multiply 4 is 12 there are 12 number inside this matrix correct 3 is the first number 8 second 7 third 9 fourth number like we have 12 number inside this matrix okay so that is why we are calling this is the order or size of a matrix but when we are representing we are representing like this 3 by 4 okay 3 by 4 matrix it is a 3 by 4 matrix each numbers we are calling elements in the matrix okay so this is the simple way to understand the matrix what is the meaning of matrix so matrix means number we are arranging in a rectangular patterns like row wise and column wise same it is uh, almost same like uh, microsoft excel you know uh, excel sheet correct uh, microsoft excel ms excel how we are representing data in ms excel sheet like row wise and column wise this is the first row row number 2 and row number 3 and same way column number 1 column number 2 column number 3 and column number 4 correct 
and you can see each cell this is the first cell first cell in excel sheet so this this is the simple way of uh, identifying the matrix also this is a matrix see, a rectangular way we are arranged the numbers okay arranged like rows and column and now we can do different operations here how to add matrices how to subtract matrices all the operations we can study later so, so this is the simple idea of the matrix now so what is the definition a matrix is a rectangular array of numbers arranged into rows and column matrix means it is a rectangular arrangement of the numbers arranged into rows and column enclosed by either we are using this bracket or we can use this bracket open bracket also or we can use the closed bracket like this or open bracket like this okay now matrices are usually denoted by capital english letters we are using capital english letters for representing matrix for example here see matrix a equal to matrix a11 a12 like we are written the number here generally so always we are representing capital a for uh, representing the matrices now a matrix having m rows and n columns is said to be order or size just now i told you what is the meaning order or size of a matrix m by n m means number of rows and n means number of columns okay if we have m rows and n columns means the order or size of the matrix is it is an m by n matrix okay now so uh, how to represent a matrix in general form see first number we are calling a11 a means that number 11 means it is from first to row and first to column that is the meaning a11 okay and same way second number a12 first to row but column number 2 okay see this number a12 1 means first number for row number second number for the column okay column number so first two row second column a12 same like a13 first two row but third column like that it is continuing okay now generally if you are writing i want to write a matrix one by one matrix generally i want to write a two by two matrix uh, uh, generally or simply three by three matrix okay generally how can we write we can just note okay the same idea whatever we uh, discussed just uh, before okay for example if it is a one by one matrix okay one by one matrix one by one means one row and one column correct so we have one row row number one and one column column number one so only one number inside correct only one number inside what is that number generally we are representing a one one first row first column number a one one now if it is a two by two matrix for example okay if it is a 2 by 2 matrix generally how can we represent that matrix 2 by 2 means we have row number 1 row number 2 column number 1 and column number 2 correct so the first number we can call it as a11 first two row first two column second number here a12 third number here a21 fourth number here a22 correct we have four numbers inside because it is a 2 by 2 matrix now same way we can write 3 by 3 matrix in general way okay whatever the order not an issue some examples we are writing here so how to write a 3 by 3 matrix you can see so we have one row second row and third row we have three rows and three columns column number one column number two and column number three now what are the numbers we are writing 3 by 3 means how many numbers will be inside nine number correct here three second row again three number and third row again we have three numbers so how we are representing that number you can see first number a11 second number a12 a13 i hope you understood a second row first column a22 a23 then a31 then a32 and a33 correct these are the numbers uh, generally when we are representing a first order second order and third order matrix one by one two by two and three by three matrices okay so when we are discussing questions we, are, we will go through detail that time now just i am telling the ideas in each, some short way okay now basic operations in the matrices okay mainly we are studying the basic operation how to add two matrices how to subtract two matrices how to multiply two matrices what is the meaning equality of matrices okay these ideas so first we will come to addition and subtraction of matrices for example i have a matrix a here a equal to matrix 2 minus 3 0 1 2 minus 5 and b equal to matrix 3 1 2 minus 3 2 and 5 
we have two matrices here correct now a plus b matrix equal to adding these two matrix how to add first number here add with the first number here a matrix first number plus b matrix first number 2 plus 3 that is the first number here 5 same like other also second number with the second number what is the second number here minus 3 what is the second number here 1 minus 3 plus 1 that is minus 2 same third number with the third number correct what is the third number 0 third number here 2 0 plus 2 that is 2 correct now fourth number 1 plus minus 3 minus 2 2 plus 2 4 minus 5 plus 5 it is 0 so this is the a plus b matrix now same way we can define what is a minus b matrix a minus b matrix equals okay just to subtract first number subtract with the first number 2 minus 3 2 minus 3 means minus 1 this is the first number here second number my with the second number minus 3 minus 1 that is minus 4 that is the second number here third number with the third number 0 minus 2 that means minus 2 that is the third number here okay i hope you understood same like all the numbers so this is the addition and subtraction of the matrix question we will do in the exercise more so generally when we are taking a plus b and b plus a should be same matrix okay a plus b matrix and b plus a matrix should be same matrix but a minus b matrix and b minus a matrix it will be different in sign a minus b and b minus a should not be same okay different will be in the sign okay generally now next operation multiplication of a matrix by a number how to multiply a matrix and a number so when we are studying multiplication okay when we are studying multiplication okay we need to study two ideas first idea how to multiply a number with a matrix okay how to multiply a number and a matrix okay and how to multiply two matrix okay for example matrix 1 multiply with matrix 2 okay these are the two idea we need to study in multiplication matrix 1 how to multiply with matrix 2 okay so first we will go to this one how to multiply a number with a matrix okay this is the example here for example i am taking a number here see 6 means it is simply a number okay and this means it is a matrix correct it is a matrix it is in matrix notation it is in the closer bracket or open bracket we are using but number means simply a number only so how to multiply a number and a matrix so that is the idea first we are studying so what we are doing is this number we need to multiply with all the number in the matrix okay so first number multiply second number multiply multiply with the third number and multiply with the fourth number for example 6 multiply 1 that is the first number 6 6 multiply 2 that is 12 6 multiply 4 24 6 multiply minus 3 minus 18 so this is the operation multiplication of a matrix by a number okay number and a matrix now now multiplication of two matrices we will discuss after now before that we will discuss what is the meaning equality of matrix okay equality equality means equal to sign what is the meaning of equal to two matrices okay when we are telling two matrices are equal okay for example you have a matrix a equal to p q r s 2 by 2 matrix and b equal to matrix 3 minus 2 0 14 when we are telling this matrix equal to this matrix a and b are same so if you are okay considering two matrices are same meaning is first number should be same as the first number that means a equal to b means these two matrix are equal means p value should be equal to 3 first number should be same second number should be same what is the second number here q what is the second number here minus 2 so q should be equal to minus 2 third number should be same as the third number that means r should be equal to 0 fourth number should be same as the fourth number that means s should be equal to 14 this is the meaning of equality of two matrices using the equality we can do many operation we can find the missing number any number is missing we can take equal to and find what is the missing number correct so this is the operation equality of two matrices now i will i am coming to the main operation now so we are studied how to multiply a number with a matrix now how to multiply a matrix with another matrix this is the main operation here multiplication of matrices okay multiplication of matrices for example we have a matrix matrix a okay 
order is m by p matrix m by p matrix and we have another matrix matrix b what is the order of that one p by n matrix okay we need to know this rule then only we can do the multiplication so all the matrix we cannot multiply when we can multiply two matrix okay first matrix order second number this number okay number of columns should be same as the second matrix first number order okay these two should be same then only we can multiply p should be see here both are p both should be same number okay then only we can multiply first number order second number and second matrix order first number should be same then only we can multiply now if that two are same the answer matrix that means when we are multiplying the a b matrix this a b matrix order should be the first number here and the last number here okay this should be the order of the a b matrix that means okay what is the order here it should be an m by n matrix okay i will tell you how to multiply that one but when we are multiplying before that we need to check this over this one okay a matrix and b matrix can we multiply or not how we, when we are multiplying the second number should be same as the first number here and first number and the last number should be same here then only we can multiply two matrix okay so a b matrix of order m by n so for example see first we will consider a small example only one row here matrix 1 3 5 1 by 3 matrix okay first number is 1 by 3 matrix first matrix second matrix is 3 by 1 matrix okay that means one row second matrix three row but one column now first you check what we can multiply or not so what i told these two numbers should be same see here three here also three so when we are multiplying what answer we will get it answer matrix order should be one by one matrix okay answer should be a one by one matrix so how to multiply now you can see what we do this first row multiply with the first column r1 multiply with c1 so first number here multiply with the first number here plus second number here multiply with second number third number here multiply with the third number okay so that is the multiplication of matrix so you will get equal to 25 it is a one by one matrix okay this is simple example now we will come go to a little bigger example for example uh, matrix 2 4 1 minus 3 matrix 1 minus 1 5 0 2 6 multiply these two matrix okay Mult multiply these two matrix so what i told if you are taking multiplication if when we are doing multiplication check the order of the first matrix first matrix i am calling a what is the order 2 by 2 matrix correct it is a 2 by 2 matrix matrix b what is the order it is a 2 by 3 matrix okay so can we multiply these two yes we can multiply because here the second number same as the first number here both numbers same so we can multiply yes so what will be the answer matrix order a b matrix what will be the order we are getting a matrix order 2 by 2 b matrix order 2 by 3 what will be the a b matrix order is the first number and last number this is the first number this is the last number so what will be the order getting it should be a 2 by 3 matrix okay so this is the answer matrix order okay answer matrix order okay 2 by 3 matrix so what we will do we need to multiply these two matrix okay so I am just calculating AB matrix equals already answer is there but we will check how we are getting that one answer matrix AB equal what is the order of the answer matrix we told it should be a 2 by 3 matrix 2 by 3 matrix 2 by 3 matrix means how many rows and how many columns 2 rows row 1 row 2 because first number stand for row number 2 by 3 correct how many columns 3 columns column number 1 column number 2 and column number 3 that means how many numbers we need to calculate here one number here second number here third number and second row also same 1 2 and 3 correct six number we need to calculate now for easier way okay for doing easier way just to represent like this okay that means the first number what we are calling a11 second number a12 third number a13 fourth number a21 a22 and a23 correct we need to calculate the sixth number a112 a23 now how we are calculating you can see first we need to calculate a11 number okay a11 what is that number a11 so simply you understood like this it is easier way to understood like this first number for row number 
second number for the column number so a 1 1 row number is 1 column number is 1 so you need to multiply first to row and first to column first to row and first to column that is the meaning a 1 1 first to row multiply with the first to column that means what you do first matrix take the first to row this is the row number 1 multiply with the column number 1 of the second matrix column number 1 okay first to row multiply with the column number 1 of the second matrix so how we are doing equal first number 2 multiply with the first number 1 plus second number is 4 multiply with the second number 0 correct first number here it is 2 multiply the first number here 1 plus second number here 4 multiply with the second number here okay so you will get the answer that is equal to 2 i hope you understood correct now one more i will do here now we need to calculate a12 a12 means what we need to do first number as i told you for row number second number for the column number so what are the rows and column we need to multiply first to row multiply with the column number 2 correct first to row same 2 4 but column number 2 we need to take this is the column number 2 minus 1 and 2 so first number 2 multiply with the first number minus 1 plus second number 4 multiply with the second number that is 2 correct you can check the number in calculator what is this number getting you will get equal to 6 okay equal to 6 so this will be the second number okay first number we go to 2 second number 6 now again a13 a13 means first two row with column number 3 then a21 second row with column number 1 second row with uh, column number 2 second row with column number 3 so you will get the number 1 minus 7 13 minus 13 and before it is 34 also so this is the answer multiplication of two matrices now generally a b and b a not same a b and b a not same now uh, when we are doing question we will discuss more about that one so only clear the idea like this okay if you clear like this it is easy what you do first we are taking the first row here row number one multiply first the column number one here okay r1 c1 that is the first number should be r1 c1 okay just one example i am writing okay this is the a b matrix i am telling r1 c1 after that what you do same row multiply with the column number 2 here this is the column number 2 that will be the second number r1 with c2 okay now multiply same row with the column number 3 here c3 that means r1 column number 3 okay you can think about just before example so first r1 with the column number 1 r1 with the column number 2 r1 with the column number 3 so you will get the first two row like this after that what you do change the row okay go to the second row here row number two so what we will do this row number two with the first two column again so r2 column number one multiply then r2 with the column number two r2 c2 then r2 with the column number three r2 c3 so this is the a b matrix okay a b matrix we are getting uh, like this easily okay so you can discuss like this uh, you can study like this for multiplication of two matrices now i will uh, discuss the special types of matrices what are the special types of matrices we need to discuss here you can see one by one first zero matrix zero matrix means a matrix all the elements are zero all the numbers are zero for example matrix zero zero matrix zero 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 okay only thing is that in the matrix all the numbers should be equal to zero that matrix we are calling zero matrix or null matrix we are representing o letter o means zero letter uh, zero uh, matrix or null matrix now second type of matrix is row matrix okay row matrix means a matrix having only one row only one row okay like this see only row number one how many column no problem for example one two three matrix one two three it is a row matrix correct only one row but how many columns are there here column number one column number two and column number three it is not a problem but only one row it should be that type of matrix we are calling row matrix now third one is column matrix what is the meaning of column matrix column matrix means a matrix having only one column only one column means it is like this see only column number one so for example numbers are one two three like this okay only one column but how many rows are there here it is row number one 
row number 2 and row number 3. Correct? 3 rows are there but only one column. So any matrix we can write the example like this. Only one column but how many row no problem. So this is the meaning of the column matrix. So we discussed zero matrix, row matrix and column matrix. Now we will go to another classification square matrix. Square matrix means you know what is the meaning of square. Correct? What is the meaning of uh, square actually? You know uh, this shape. Correct? This shape is rectangle shape. Okay? This is a rectangle shape. Okay? Now what is square? Square means all the sides should be same length. Correct? So I can write here uh, like this. This is the square shape. Correct? Square shape. So you know what is the difference between rectangle and square? For example, this is the length side A width is b different number correct square means length and width both are same number a and a so what will be the meaning of the square matrix square matrix means number of rows equal to number of columns how many rows see rows we are writing like this same number we have columns also that matrix we are calling square matrix okay so i can discuss here what is the meaning of square matrix number of rows equal to number of columns so what will be the order of the square matrix should be 1 by 1, correct? Number of row 1, number of column 1. What will be the next 2 by 2, 3 by 3, 4 by 4, like this matrix. We are calling square matrix. Now, if a matrix is square matrix, okay, 1 by 1, 2 by 2, 3 by 3, like this, okay. Instead of writing 1 by 1, you can write simply order equal to 1, like this, simply in one number, okay. So, order one number means what is the meaning of that one? Say square matrix of order 1 means 1 by 1. 2 means 2 by 2, okay. So, order we can write a single number if it is a square matrix. 3 by 3, 3, by three means we can write order equal to 3 because it is a square matrix, okay. So, order we can write a single number if it is a square matrix. Now, see, I discussed here what is the meaning of square. See, I will show a bigger figure. For example, here like this. Now, when we are considering the square, see, I am just drawing a line like this, okay. This line we are calling diagonal of a matrix, okay, diagonal or main diagonal, okay, diagonal or we can say main diagonal, okay, diagonal or main diagonal and if you are drawing just to opposite like, okay, like this, this line we are calling off diagonal, okay, off diagonal of a matrix, okay, so if for a square we have main diagonal, and we have off diagonal okay we have main diagonal and we have off diagonal so for example this matrix c i wrote here what is the diagonal of this matrix 1 3 and 6 this is the diagonal of the matrix that three numbers okay 1 3 and 6 because it is a 3 by 3 matrix that is the main diagonal or diagonal of the matrix what are the off diagonal of that matrix 4 3 and 5 these three numbers we are calling of diagonal of the matrix for example this 2 by 2 matrix this is the main diagonal correct 8 minus 1 of diagonal is 2 and 7 okay i hope you understood so what is the meaning of main diagonal what is the meaning of of diagonal of a matrix okay now again see i am going to another square here you can see if i am drawing a main diagonal like this this is the diagonal so we are getting two triangle this is the first triangle this is the second triangle correct this is the first triangle and this is the second triangle this triangle we have we are just calling upper upper portion this is the lower portion correct lower portion and upper portion now see next classification we are, we are coming triangular matrix triangular matrix so what is the meaning of triangular matrix triangular matrix means we can classify into two category one is the upper triangular matrix and the second one is the lower triangular matrix. What is the meaning of upper triangular matrix? You can see. See, I've shown one triangle here. That triangle downside should be zero. See here. Uh, you can just highlight this number zero, this number zero, this number zero. If these three numbers zero means that matrix we are calling upper triangular matrix. Upper portion triangle, any number possible. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, including zero possible okay but down number these three numbers zero means it is calling upper triangular matrix now up number three these three zeros are means we are calling it is lower triangular matrix okay lower side number upper side zero that is the meaning of lower triangular matrix i hope you understood correct lower triangular and upper triangular matrix now 
see the another classification these together we can study diagonal matrix what is the meaning of diagonal matrix diagonal matrix means see down three numbers zero means we are calling upper triangular correct up three numbers zero means we are calling lower triangular so if up zero down zero up numbers are zero down numbers are zero okay only the diagonal we have numbers these type of matrix we are calling diagonal matrix okay these three this type of matrix we are calling diagonal matrix okay for example see i will show here one example you can see first number in a matrix a11 second number a12 third number a13 here a21 a22 and this is a23 a31 a32 and a33 correct this is the 3 by 3 matrix i just shown a 3 by 3 matrix now upper triangular matrix means what are the numbers should be 0 this number should be 0 this number should be 0 this number should be 0 okay for upper okay upper triangular matrix means these three numbers should be 0 that means a 2 1 should be a 3 1 should be and a 3 2 should be equal to 0 correct these three number now when we are going to the lower triangular matrix okay lower triangular matrix lower triangular matrix what are the numbers should be 0 a 1 2 a 1 3 a 2 3 these three numbers should be 0 a 1 2 a 1 3 and a 2 3 these three numbers should be equal to 0 this lower triangular now diagonal matrix means you know what is the meaning of diagonal matrix as i told you now diagonal matrix correct diagonal matrix means upper portion should be zero down portion also should be zero only here we have numbers correct a11 a22 a23 correct these three number these three number any number possible but upside zero downside also will be zero this three category now when we are writing these three category you need to know what is the meaning of these three okay for example first upper triangular matrix a21 a31 a32 these three numbers should be zero correct upper triangular so when we are taking a i j a i j first number we are calling i second number we are calling j for example a21 i is 2 j means 1 here i is 3 j is 1 here i is 3 j equal to 2 correct which number is the bigger number i number is the bigger number correct so for upper triangular matrix a i j number 0 when a i j number 0 i greater than j because i number should be bigger number j number small number means a i j 0 is calling upper triangular matrix okay upper triangular i greater than j now lower triangular matrix you can see a 1 2 i j correct i j i and j which number is the bigger number j number is the bigger number a 1 2 a 1 2 1 is small 2 is bigger i is small 2 j is the bigger so how can we write this one a i j equal to 0 i should be small j should be bigger i less than j correct i less than j so that type of matrix we are calling lower triangular matrix okay now diagonal matrix means both these are correct upper number should be zero down number should be zero only a11 a12 sorry a11 a22 a2 a33 this number any number so when it will be we can say a ij a ij equal to zero when i not equal to j if i and j same means any number possible but if i and j are not same means for example a12 a21 see a21 here i and j are not same a 3 1 i and j not same a 3 2 i and j not same correct a 1 2 a 2 1 3 a 2 3 these three number all should be equal to 0 correct so i and j not same means a i j 0 meaning that matrix is a diagonal matrix okay so clear to understand these three idea upper triangular lower triangular and diagonal matrix so upper triangular a i j equal to 0 i greater than j j a i j equal to 0 i less than j means lower triangular and diagonal matrix means a i j equal to 0 i not equal to j okay now we will come to the seventh category now seventh category unit matrix or identity matrix unit means one identity matrix identity okay one number one so okay identity matrix always we are representing capital i letter 
so identity matrix means it is a diagonal matrix but diagonal number should be 1 see for example identity matrix of order 1 matrix 1 identity matrix of order 2 1 0 0 1 Identity matrix of order 3, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. See, you can see this diagonal number here. See, diagonal numbers are 1. Okay, upper side 0, downside also 0. These type of matrix uh, we are calling uh, unit matrix or identity matrix. Okay, diagonal number should be 1. Above diagonal and below diagonal number should be equal to 0 value. Okay, so this is the unit matrix or identity matrix. Now, 8 transpose of a matrix, transpose of a matrix, transpose, okay, what is the meaning, transpose of a matrix, okay. Now, transpose of a matrix we are representing either A transpose or A transpose like this, okay, A power capital T or A power small t, A transpose, okay, A power capital T or A power small t. So, this is the transpose of a matrix representation. Now, what we do? interchanging rows and columns of a matrix okay interchanging rows and columns of a matrix that is the meaning transpose for example a equal to matrix 3 1 minus y 12 7 6 so how many rows are there this is row 1 this is row 2 correct two rows are there three columns also there now what we do for transpose is that okay what we need to do for transpose is that first two row this is the first two row write it as first two column like this 3 1 minus 5 second row write it as second column here 12 7 6 so okay whatever the row we have change that into column wise write that into the column wise that is the meaning of transpose of a matrix okay interchanging rows and columns of a matrix so original matrix is a so a write in column wise that is we are calling a transpose matrix so i hope you understood this uh, special types of matrices and the transpose of a matrix now some small uh, rules we need to discuss here what are the rules a transpose all transpose should be equal to a first we are doing a transpose so it will come like a column wise now when we are doing again a transpose it is again come to the same shape this is the meaning a transpose all transpose it should be same as the a matrix okay this is the first two rule now second one a square matrix is said to be symmetric okay it is very important point a square matrix is said to be symmetric if a transpose should be same as a matrix for example see i can see a matrix a equal to matrix okay one two two five is the matrix okay a matrix now what is the meaning of uh, symmetric we are telling when we are calculating a transpose a transpose equal to what is the a transpose here the matrix a transpose equal to matrix see first two row one two we are writing as the first two column one two second row two five writing as the second column two five okay one two two five now you can check these two matrices a matrix and a transpose matrix both are same correct a matrix and a transpose matrix both are same that means we are calling a matrix a special name a matrix is symmetric matrix okay symmetric matrix that means a matrix and a transpose matrix should be same means we are calling it as symmetric matrix now the third rule what is the third rule a square matrix is said to be skew symmetric if a transpose equal to minus a okay a transpose value and minus a value same for example I can take one a matrix equal to matrix 0 minus 1 okay and 1 and 0 for example 0 minus 1 1 and 0 now when we are calculating a transpose what happen a transpose a transpose equal first row change it as first column 0 minus 1 second row change it as second column 1 0 correct now what is the difference between these two matrix you can see okay when we are calculating minus a matrix what is minus a minus a means all the number in a matrix multiply with minus minus number minus one so zero multiply minus one means zero minus one multiply minus one means one okay one multiply minus one means minus one zero multiply minus one means zero okay minus a all the number a multiply with minus number now check these two matrix a minus a matrix and a transpose matrix 
you can check minus a matrix and a transpose matrix both are same correct first number 0 second number 1 third number minus 1 fourth number 0 so minus a matrix and a, mat a transpose matrix same means we are calling a special name skew symmetric matrix okay skew symmetric matrix okay so this is the different symmetric and skew symmetric skew. symmetric means a and a transpose should be same but skew symmetric means a transpose should be equal to minus a okay so this is the idea now the fourth one a square matrix is said to be orthogonal okay a square matrix is said to be orthogonal when we are multiplying a and a transpose answer should be i what is the meaning i identity matrix okay so careful orthogonal orthogonal matrix means example we will discuss later orthogonal matrix means when we are multiplying a matrix and the a transpose matrix you know how to multiply two matrix we are discussing just before so what you do multiply these two matrix a matrix and a transpose matrix multiply answer should be i matrix i means identity matrix okay careful it is not one identity matrix okay identity matrix okay not single one identity matrix you know what is identity matrix one zero 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 just before we are discussing same matrix okay so then we are telling uh, orthogonal matrix okay so this is the idea from this section now we will go to the questions examples okay more discuss we will do in the examples discussion we can do for example question number one if a equal to matrix 2 4 5 minus 1 b equal to 3 6 minus 2 7 find a plus b all transpose and 5 a transpose okay so what we need to do first a plus b transpose 5 a transpose so first we will do a plus b you know how to add two matrices what is a matrix here 2 4 5 minus 1 plus what is the b matrix 3 6 minus 2 and 7 correct so add these two matrix so what is the addition coming equal matrix first number add with the first number 2 plus 3 5 second number with the second number 4 plus 6 10 5 plus minus 2 3 minus 1 plus 7 6 correct now what is our question we need to calculate a plus b matrix okay a plus b matrix transpose whatever the a plus b you got take the transpose of that matrix a plus b transpose equal matrix first row write it as first column what is the first row 5 10 write it as first column 5 10 second row write it as second column so this is the answer a plus b whole transpose i hope you understood how to find a plus b whole transpose now we are going to the second part of the question what is the second part of the question we need to do 5 a transpose 5a transpose so first we need to calculate what is 5a that means 5 multiply matrix a 2 4 5 minus 1 number multiply a matrix correct so what we will do each number multiply with the outside number 5 multiply 2 5 multiply 4 5 multiply 5 5 multiply minus 1 correct so what answer we will get 5 multiply 2 10 5 multiply 4 20 5 multiply 5 25 5 multiply minus 1 minus 5 correct now what is the answer we needed 5a matrix whatever answer you got 5a matrix transpose we need to take so what will be the answer 5a transpose first row write it as first column 10 20 second row write it as second column 25 and minus 5 so this is the 5a transpose matrix i hope you understood this question questions are easy here only the basic idea need to be clear okay now second question show that a equal to matrix 2 16 16 4 is symmetric okay just underline you can underline that word symmetric show that that matrix is symmetric what is the meaning symmetric we discussed you remember a transpose matrix same as a correct this is the meaning symmetric so we will check here okay so first we calculate what is a transpose matrix matrix a transpose equal what is the transpose of a matrix first row 216 
write it as first column second row 16 4 write it as second column 16 4 okay now check with the question is it same as a or not first number 2 first number 2 16 same 16 same 4 same correct same as the a matrix a transpose matrix same as our question matrix a matrix okay so we can say the a matrix is symmetric matrix correct symmetric matrix i hope you understood this question now we will go to the next one construct a 2 by 2 matrix construct we need to create a 2 by 2 matrix name it as a that means we need to create a 2 by 2 matrix we are calling it as a 2 it should be 2 by 2 correct 2 by 2 means how many numbers should be inside here one number here one number here one here one correct 2 by 2 because how many rows and how many columns two rows first row second row column number one column number two that is two by two correct so how many numbers should be inside a one one a one two a two one a two two correct we need to calculate these four numbers okay four numbers we need to calculate i hope you understood whose elements are given by how we calculate this a one one a one two numbers a i j equal to 4 i minus 5 j i will write here a i j equals 4 times i number minus 5 times j number okay this is the meaning this is the rule for finding that number so we can go to that one first a 1 1 we will calculate a 1 1 equals what is the meaning a 1 1 a i j what is the i number i number is 1 j number also 1 a 1 1 okay i number is 1 j number 1 so apply in this rule 4 multiply i number is 1 okay minus 5 multiply j number also 1 4 minus 5 you can use the calculator what answer you are getting minus 1 correct first number is minus 1 4 minus 5 so i can write the answer also here together matrix so the first number here we need to we are getting already other numbers we need to calculate so first number a 1 1 is minus 1 now same way we are calculating what is a 1 2 a 1 2 equals a 1 2 equals okay that means i number is 1 j number is 2 so 4 multiply i number is 1 minus 5 times j number is 2 correct that means what is the number getting 4 minus 10 correct minus 6 minus 6 so i can write here minus 6 okay now the third number we are calculating a 1 sorry a 2 1 equals 4 times i number is 2 minus 5 times j number is 1 correct that means 8 minus 5 that means 3 equal to 3 so i can write here 3 now a 2 2 same way we can calculate a 2 2 number a 2 2 equal 4 times i number is 2 minus 5 times j number also 2 so 4 multiply 2 means 8 8 minus 10 is minus 2 so here the number is minus 2 so this is the matrix a so this is what we need to construct construct a 2 by 2 matrix whose elements are given by a i j equals 4 i minus 5 j i hope you understood now we will go to the next one question number four okay from all the topic whatever we are discussed we are doing the questions okay now construct a three by two matrix construct we need to create a three by two matrix namely a so a is a three by two matrix three by two matrix three by two means how many rows three rows first row second row third row how many columns column number one column number two three by two correct so here a one one here a one two here a two one a two two a three one a three two correct six numbers we need to calculate yes equal matrix okay we need to calculate here one number here one another two 
in third row also another two numbers six numbers we need to calculate correct now whose elements are given by a i j equals i will write here a i j equals maximum of i comma j maximum of i comma j i and j which is the bigger number that is the meaning maximum of i comma j it is easy correct so a 1 1 for example a 1 1 equals maximum of the number what is i 1 what is j 1 correct a 1 1 first number is i second number is j so maximum of 1 1 means which is the bigger number both are same so 1 correct so that is the first number now same way a 1 2 means maximum of the number 1 and 2 which is the bigger number out of 1 and 2 2 is the bigger number so we can write 2 here same maximum of 2 1 2 maximum of 2 2 2 maximum of 3 1 3 maximum of 3 2 that is 3 correct so this is the answer of that question construct a 3 by 2 matrix okay i hope you understood you can practice more same model questions now question number 5 construct a column matrix okay you need to read like this column matrix of order 3 together you can read for understanding that question column matrix of order 3 column matrix means what is the meaning number of columns equal to how many 1 that is the meaning column matrix correct now column matrix of order 3 means how many rows we need to consider 3 okay Row, column number is 1 because column matrix means column number is 1 of order 3 means row number is 3 so that means what is the order of the matrix 3 by 1 matrix correct it should be a 3 by 1 matrix 3 rows but one column and whose elements are given by ui equals i divided by i plus 2 okay this question little careful so construct a matrix we are calling it as a it should be a 3 by 1 3 by 1 means column number is only 1 but rows are 3 column only 1 column number 1 how many rows row number 1 row number 2 row number 3 correct 3 rows but one column so whose elements are given by ui keep in your mind ui equals i divided by i plus 2 so this is taking the number not like a11 a12 like that ui ui means first number is u1 second number is u2 third number is u3 okay because the rule is given like that ui ui u1 u2 u3 u4 like that before question it was a i j a11 a12 a13 like that okay so first we need to calculate what is u1 equals just to put to ui i number is 1 so i means 1 divided by i means 1 plus 2 you can check 1 over 3 same way u2 u2 means i number is 2 so 2 divided by 2 plus 2 i divided by i plus 2 so 2 divided by 4 correct 2 divided by 4 you can write 1 over 2 also same u3 u3 means i is 3 so 3 divided by 3 plus 2 so 3 divided by 5 here correct so what will be the answer getting matrix u1 number 1 over 3 u2 number 2 over 4 or 1 over 2 both are same 2 over 4 i am writing 2 over 4 for your understanding third one 3 over 5 so this is the matrix we need to create in that question i hope you understood now we will go to the next question next question solve for x and y solve for x and y solve means find the values of x and find the values of y okay find the values of x and find the value of y what is the condition given if this matrix is equal to this matrix these two matrix are equal okay then what is the value of x and y so we studied what is the meaning matrix are equal what is the meaning first number should be same as the first number here correct that means x plus 2 y equals 9 first number should be same as the first number second number should be same as the second number what is the second number here 3 what is the second number here 3 same correct now third number 4 here here also 4 fourth number y minus 4 w correct so we can write y minus 4 w equals 
what is the fourth number here 25 correct now sixth number what is the sixth uh, number there 2w same as minus 6 so 2w equals minus 6 now last number 9 here also 9 same correct this is the meaning of equality of two matrices two matrices are equal because equal to sign is there one matrix is given here equal to another matrix okay so first number here same as the first number second number same third number same all the numbers okay so we can find x y here so first we will start with the last row this row you can find the w number correct what you do 2w equal to minus 6 both side you can divide by 2 correct so what will be the w number w equal because this 2 and 2 will cancel minus 6 over 2 means minus 3 i hope you understood now from the second one you can find what is the y value from here y equals this minus 4w take to next side so 25 plus 4w minus 4w coming to the next side means plus 4w so apply the w number 25 plus 4 time what is w minus 3 correct so 25 minus 4 multiply 3 means 12 correct so what will be the answer 13 you will get equal to 13 so y number is 13 now in the first one you can find x number from here so what we will do x equal 9 plus 2y take to next side minus 2y so you will get 9 minus 2 multiply what is the y number y number is 13 okay y number is 13 so you can check the answer so 9 minus uh, 2 multiply 13 okay so what will be the answer minus 17 okay so x number y number is w number we got from that question i hope you understood this question the idea okay now question number seven compute the following products product product what is the meaning product multiply okay so compute the multiplication these two matrix multiply matrix 1 0 minus 5 3 1 0 minus 1 2 5 okay so we need to multiply these two matrices okay that is the question here so first matrix we can call it as a second matrix we can call it as b so i can write what is the a b matrix a b matrix equal what is the a matrix first 1 0 minus 5 2 6 4 multiply b matrix 3 1 0 minus 1 2 5 okay so before starting multiply we need to check can we multiply or not after that only we can go to the multiplication correct so what you do first check what is the a matrix order what is the order of a matrix here two rows and three columns so two by three matrix check what is the b matrix order matrix b what is the order three rows two columns so three by two matrix now you can check can we multiply here how we are checking we discussed it already second number here same as the first number here correct should be same these two number three equal to three so we can multiply yes we can multiply so what will be the order of the a b matrix we are writing a b matrix order should be the first and last number first number here this two last number here 2 so answer should be a 2 by 2 matrix okay answer should be a 2 by 2 matrix now we will start the answer so a b matrix should be a 2 by 2 matrix keep in your mind should be a 2 by 2 matrix so 2 by 2 means what are the number a 1 1 a 1 2 a 2 1 a 2 2 if you are studying like this it is easy to represent okay a 1 1 a 1 2 a 2 1 a 2 2 we need to find these four numbers okay so first we need to calculate what is a 1 1 equal a 1 1 means as i told you first number stand for row second number stand for column that means first two row multiply with the column number one okay so first two row here we can choose the first two row here this is the row number one multiply the column number 
1 here. This is the column number 1. Okay, multiply first row with column number 1. That means first number 1 multiply with the first number 3 plus second number 0 multiply 0 plus third number minus 5 multiply 2. Third number with the third number. I hope you understood what we are doing. Now you can check this answer in your calculator. 1 multiply 3, 3 plus 0 multiply 0, 0 minus 5 multiply 2, 10. So that you will get minus 7. Okay, first number. So I will write the answer also here together. So first number here minus 7. Now second number a12 equals a12 means first row with column number 2 a12 row 1 column 2 row 1 same multiply with column number 2 here so first number 1 multiply with the first number 1 plus second number 0 multiply second number minus 1 plus third number minus 5 multiply third number 5 you can check what is the answer 1 multiply 1 means 1 0 multiply minus 1 means 0, minus 5 multiply 5 means 25. So, what will be the answer? Minus 24. So, second number minus 24. Now, third number we need to calculate same way. A21 equal. That means second row with column number 1. Now, we are going to the second row. Correct? This is the second row. Row number 2. Multiply with column number 1. Correct? So, row number 2, first number 2, multiply column number 1, first number 3, plus 6, multiply 0, second numbers, plus 4, multiply 2, third number. You can check the calculator. 2 multiply 3, that is 6, plus 6 multiply 0, 0, plus 4 multiply 2, that is 8. So, you will get 14. So, we can write here 14. I hope you understood. Now, A22, same way you can calculate A22 also. A22 means second row with, I will show here, A22 equal row number 2 with column number 2. Row number 2, what are the number? 2 multiply 1 plus 6 multiply minus 1 plus 4 multiply 5. Check what is the answer getting. 2 multiply 2, sorry, 2 multiply 1, 2 plus minus 6 multiply minus 1 minus 6 plus 4 multiply 5 20 so 16 so here the answer 16 so this is the answer 2 by 2 matrix hope you understood this multiply okay one more question we will practice this question question number b matrix 1 2 0 3 4 1 minus 1 0 6 2 0 minus 1 2 2 2 4 1 3 5 so first check a matrix first matrix what is your order matrix a what is your order matrix b what is your order can we multiply or not what is the matrix a order three rows and three columns three by three second also three by three so can we multiply a b yes why yes because the second number same as the second number here correct both are same so what will be the order of the answer matrix Answer matrix order here. First number, last number. Should be a 3 by 3 matrix. Okay. So, A multiply B possible. 3 by 3 matrix should be. So, we can calculate A multiply B. It should be a 3 by 3 matrix. 3 by 3 means first number A11, A12, A13, A21, A22 and A23 a 3 1 a 3 2 and a 3 3 okay should be a 3 by 3 matrix now we will start the multiply okay some of the multiply number i will write here remaining you can try so, equals matrix okay so three rows and three columns here three number 3 rows and 3 columns. These matrix, these numbers we need to calculate one by one. So, first A11 means row number 1, column number 1 we need to multiply. Okay, row number 1 with column number 1. Row number 1 is this one. Multiply with the column number 1 is this one. C1. 
this is r1 so 1 multiply 0 plus 2 multiply 2 plus 0 multiply 1 correct you will get 4 so first number we are getting 4 okay now second number a 1 2 means first row with column number 2 column number 2 here this column column number 2 so first number 1 multiply minus 1 plus 2 multiply 2 plus 0 multiply 3 correct 1 multiply minus 1 means minus 1 plus 2 multiply 2 means 4 another one is 0 so 3 you can check by calculator second number is 3 now a 1 3 means first row with column number 3 first row same but column number we need to take third column column number 3 so first number 1 multiply first number 2 plus second number 2 multiply 4 third number 0 multiply 5 so you can check the answer 1 multiply 2 means 2 plus 2 multiply 4 means 8 so you will get a 10 so here third number is 10 hope you understood correct now a21 okay i will show here a21 second row with column number 1 correct you can see what is the second row 3 4 minus 1 3 4 minus 1 column number 1 0 2 1 0 2 1 okay so we can write r2 c1 3 multiply 0 plus 4 multiply 2 plus minus 1 multiply 1 correct so 8 minus 1 you will get 7 now a 2 2 so row same okay 3 4 minus 1 but column number 2 we need to take what is column number 2 minus 1 2 3 minus 1 2 and 3 so we can write first number 3 multiply minus 1 plus second number 4 multiply 2 plus third number minus 1 multiply 3 3 multiply minus 1 means minus 3 you can check in calculator directly plus 4 multiply 2 8 plus minus 3 correct so you will get equal to 2 now a 2 3 second row same 3 4 minus 1 but column number 3 what is the column number 3 2 4 5 correct 2 4 and 5 so we can write 3 multiply 2 plus 4 multiply 4 plus minus 1 multiply 5 3 multiply 2 means 6 4 multiply 4 means 16 uh, plus minus 1 multiply 5 means minus 5 so you will get 17 so second row we got 7 2 17 7 2 17 7 2 17 now same way a 3 1 you can do a 3 1 row 3 multiply column number 1 and a 3 2 row 3 multiply column number 2 and a 3 3 row number 3 multiply column number 3 okay you know what is row 3 row 3 means 0 6 2 okay so 0 6 2 row number 3 first column number 1 0 2 1 correct so you can write 0 multiply 0 plus 6 multiply 2 plus 2 multiply 1 okay so 12 plus 2 14 you will get this number 14 now same way row 3 column number 2 column number 2 so row 3 same column number 2 means minus 1 2 3 minus 1 2 3 okay so equals 0 multiply minus 1 plus 6 multiply 2 plus 2 multiply 3 correct you will get 6 multiply 2 means 12 plus 2 multiply 3 means 6 so 18 
okay now same way row 3 multiply column number 3 column number 3 means 2 4 5 correct so we can write 0 multiply 2 plus 6 multiply 4 plus 2 multiply 5 okay so you will get 6 multiply 4 24 plus 2 multiply 5 10 so 34 so in conclusion we can get third row 14 18 and 34 14 18 and 34 so this is the multiplication of two matrices a and b i hope you understood this question also okay so you can check the detail calculation here all are given how to multiply now we will go to the eighth question now just a multiple choice question eighth one can we multiply a matrix 3 by 2 with b matrix 3 by 3 a matrix order is 3 by 2 b matrix order 3 by 3 can we multiply these two matrix is the question can be possible no because here 2 and here 3 these two number is not same here it should be same then only we can multiply correct so we can write the answer no now find the order of a b matrix a matrix order 5 by 2 b matrix order 2 by 3 what is the order of a b matrix that is the question a b matrix what will be the order so first check is it possible or not multiply here 2 here also 2 both are same so it is possible correct now what will be the order of a b matrix the first number here last number here so 5 by 3 matrix it should be correct just a multiple choice question for understanding the ideas okay now next question question number 10 a equal to that matrix b equal to 205 c equal to 4 4 minus 9 evaluate a plus b minus c and 6a minus 5b so basic question okay so first you will do what is a plus b minus c equal matrix first apply a minus 3 8 6 plus b matrix 2 0 5 minus c matrix 4 4 minus 9 now we can do this calculation equal first we are doing a plus b matrix minus 3 first number here plus this number minus 3 plus 2 minus 1 8 plus 0 8 6 plus 5 11 correct minus second is 4 4 minus 9 same okay now you can subtract these two matrices and you can write the answer here okay minus 1 minus 4 that means minus 5 8 minus 4 4 11 minus minus 9 okay so 11 plus 9 that is 20 so that is the answer now one more question is there in the question 10 b part 6 a minus 5 b equal so 6 multiply a matrix okay minus 5 multiply b matrix correct what is a matrix you can apply minus 3 8 6 minus 5 multiply b matrix 2 0 5 okay so when we are calculating equal to first 6 multiply that matrix we can calculate here minus 5 multiply that matrix we can calculate here so that you will get what is that answer okay can just try this question we will show here anyway 6 multiply minus 3 minus 18 okay then same like 6 multiply 8 48 6 multiply 6 36 minus 5 multiply 2 10 5 multiply 0 5 multiply 5 25 now minus 18 minus 10 minus 28 48 minus 0, 48. 36 minus 25. Okay, you can subtract 11. So that is the answer. 6a minus 5b. I hope you understood this question. Okay, now question number 11. Question number 11. If matrix, if a equal to, for example, okay, if a equal to matrix 6, 7 minus 3. 3 2 minus 4 1 0 2 
one matrix is given find a 2 3 number plus a 1 3 number okay a 2 3 means what is the meaning the number in the second row third column correct second row for example this is the matrix 6 7 minus 3 3 2 minus 4 1 0 2 you can check the rows and columns this is the first row second row third row column number 1 column number 2 column number 3 correct now a 2 3 means second row third column second row third column this is the number a 2 3 what is the number minus 4 plus now a 1 3 first row third column first row third column minus 3 correct so a 2 3 is second row third column is minus 4 and minus 3 minus 4 plus minus 3 means minus 7 hope you understood that question for understanding the idea so this is basically uh, this section all the basic idea in the matrix okay so we need to practice more questions say models okay now next question question number 12 if a equal to matrix 5 x plus 5 3x plus 1 9 is a symmetric matrix is a symmetric symmetric means what is the meaning i told a transpose should be same as a correct is a symmetric matrix then the value of x is what is the value of x from that question okay so what we do for that question just to start from the idea of symmetric symmetric matrix what is the meaning symmetric matrix a transpose should be same as a matrix correct you can write both matrix equal a matrix write here a transpose matrix you can write here okay what is a transpose matrix first row write it as first column so 5 x plus 5 second row write it as second column 3 x plus 1 and 9 second row write it as second column equals a matrix a matrix means same matrix 5 x plus 5 3x plus 1 and 9 okay important idea it is now this matrix these two matrices are equal it is given like these two matrices are equal a transpose should be same as a matrix correct now you remember what is the meaning of equal first number should be same as the first number 5 equal to 5 it is correct only yes second number should be same as the second number what is the second uh, number you can see 3x plus 1 should be same as the second number x plus 5 correct second number here same as the second number here now third number x plus 5 same as 3x plus 1 same idea fourth number 9 9 same correct so from this i can find what is the x number correct so you know how to find 3x plus 1 equal to x plus 5 you can take x to the left side so 3x the same 3x plus x come to left side minus x equal 5 already the right same plus 1 go to the next side minus 1 correct 5 minus 1 5 minus 1 now you can do simplification 3x minus x means 2x equal 5 minus 1 means 4 2x equal to 4 so find x divide by 2 both sides you will get answer 2 and 2 cancel x equal to 4 over 2 means 2 so that is the x number if a matrix is symmetric matrix hope you understood now the uh, last question uh, we will go question number 13 if a equal to matrix 1 0 1 minus 1 is a square matrix of order 2 find a square what is a square is the question okay you know what is a square how we are calculating a square a power 2 a square means a multiply a that is the meaning a square a multiply a correct like x square x square means x multiply x correct a square so a square equal a matrix supply 1 0 1 minus 1 multiply again a matrix 1 0 1 minus 1 these two matrix you need to multiply correct these two matrix you need to multiply so how to multiply you know that one we need to calculate what is that number that matrix so first we started with the first row here row number one 
this is row number 2 this is column number 1 column number 2 just before we did the questions from the multiply multiplication correct so first row multiply with the first column so answer like how to do row number 1 multiply with column number 1 row number 1 multiply with column number 2 row 2 column 1 and row 2 column 2 correct you know how to do that one first for example r1 c1 first row with column number 1 so 1 multiply 1 plus 0 multiply 1 okay so you will get answer equal to 1 so that is the first number then r1 c2 first row with column number 2 this is the column number 2 correct so 1 multiply 0 plus 0 multiply minus 1 you will get to 0 second number 0 here now third one r2 column number 2 with column sorry r2 with row number 2 with column number 1 row 2 this is the row 2 so 1 multiply 1 plus minus 1 with 1 1 multiply 1 is 1 minus 1 0 correct now now row 2 multiply with column number 2 row 2 means what is the row 2 that is 1 minus 1 column number 2 so 1 multiply 0 plus minus 1 multiply minus 1 okay 1 multiply 0 means 0 minus 1 with one, minus 1 means it is 1 so we can write equal to 1 here so this is the uh, matrix we are getting what type of matrix is this one this answer is getting 1001 it is an identity matrix okay so sometimes it is asking what is a square matrix a square matrix is it identity matrix or not yes it is identity matrix okay see this question only so like this we can calculate what is the a square matrix okay so this is the basic idea from 5.1 section i hope you understood all the ideas from the 5.1 section uh, there are many definitions and many questions we can practice from this section short questions okay so thank you for watching this video please share and subscribe my uh, recorded classes thank you